Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Goose Island. This is Tropical Beer Hug. So um, I'm trying to pick this one up. It is a big one. So not only is it a stovepipe 19.2 ounce can, it's also 9.9% .9 hazy double IPA that Goose Island's producing. Um, it's got all the fun new hops in there. And yeah, stovepipe can, I guess that's a theme. Um, Imperial Voodoo Ranger from New Belgium. It's sort of like a great example of like, Again, a beer that's super dangerous in a big, big, big can. I guess it's meant for people that are trying to buy a single serving or single package or something and really uh, get hit. Because do the math on this guy. This is pretty much. Oh, what is this? Is it ten times? It's like over about right about three drinks. Three drinks. So it's just half a six pack in a single can, pretty much. Wow. Uh, it's Best Buy. Two months away, so let's see. Oh, two months away, we don't know about that. You know me. When it's far away, it's good. Two months, I'm like, ah, uh, because I don't know if they have a six month Best Buy, who knows what it is, and no clue in the packaging, so no clue. So, really fun label, let's see how it is. Uh, beer comes in a, hmm, like light to, uh, medium to deep gold color, let's say deep gold. Nice clarity on the, that guy, beautiful, uh, slightly off-white head. Let's have our fingers crossed and hope this turns out well. Yeah. It smells like, I mean, it smells good. Um, doesn't smell amazing, but yeah, it smells pretty pop, uh, um, proper in the sense that it is a big, um, I mean, what, what beers am I thinking of? I'm thinking about the big, big guys. I'm thinking about like, yeah, there we go. I'm thinking Hop Slam. Uh, didn't review this year, but that's sort of where I'm thinking. I get a big alcohol. I get the nice kind of uh, light biscuity and kind of like, malt sweetness, a little bit breadiness, and then it's got like this, the sweet alcohol thing too. So it's like almost that um, combination of like fruit flavors uh, that you get from, uh, fruit flavors and alcohol that you get from like triple and like Bel uh, Belgian golden strong. Um, and then the hops uh, flavor in here are like sweet grapefruit, pineapple, mango, sweet citrus. So it's like boozy, tropical, citrusy, sweet. Throws me back to like uh, 20, 2015? <laughs> I don't know. Like it reminds me of like, oh, there you go. Stone, Ruin 10. Um, again, Bell's Hop Slam. Um, I'm trying to think of some other beers that sort of can think of. Oh, oh, uh, Boneyard, I think it has like a triple IPA, but just big, West Coasty, like fruity, tropical, big malts, big alcohol. Yeah, sweet. Um, so, noticeably, what I'll say about this is that this is like quote unquote hazy, even though it is not hazy at all. It's actually crystal clear. But um, they tamper down the bitterness and the malt. So those beers that I mentioned have a little bit more malt sweetness to them, and they certainly have like an obvious bitterness. This beer is not bitter at all. Wow. Laden with like big boozy notes up front. Um, big alcohol, big alcohol. I would have guessed this was even higher than uh, 9.9 .9 or 10%. Um, doesn't really warm. I mean, it warms on the way down, but like that's the first thing you notice. Boozy. Tropical, sweet citrus. I get like a grapefruit, tangerine, pineapple. Um, nice dryness on the palate too. This is definitely up the alley. And then there's like no bitterness to speak of. This is definitely up the alley for people that really like, uh, again, Bel Belgian triples. Like this is almost like an American fied version of it. It, it is dry, aromatically fruity, flavor uh, uh, flavor profile fruity. Um, maybe might not have the spritzy carbonation, but you know, you get a like nice canvas of this light, bready, and biscuity malt character. No bitterness to speak of. Fruity flavors, again, mimic those hop flavors of fruitiness are mimicking the uh, fruity ester flavors that you get from a triple, like right up your alley for that. So, hey, um, I don't think they produce still pipes of Victory Golden Monkey because I don't mess you up too, but yeah, I mean, I, I plan on either sharing this or. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, it is a big booze bomb. Uh, hoppiness is okay. I mean, serve this cold. I mean, it does a pretty good job. I mean, if you want to not have three bottles or cans of beer, like, you know, for a concert or a show or something, and she got one can, this will do the job. Um, serve it cold, crush it, it'll do the job. And I'm, as I'm waiting and I'm sitting here and I haven't had dinner yet and Katie's cooking in the background, it's warming up in the stomach, it, it, you feel it. So uh, be careful with this guy. I personally would definitely recommend um, New Belgium's uh, Imperial Voodoo Ranger more. But uh, if you're looking for something that's, again, less IPA and more in the Belgian realm of just like dry, fruity, you know, triples, those blonde beers, this mimics that very well. 
And the booziness. Like you're okay with the booziness. Yeah. Yeah, you just tone down the malt and the bitterness so much that's like, is this really an IPA anymore? But like, this their take on like, you know, hazy slash new age slash, you know, dry hop it, tone down the bitterness, blah, blah, blah. Make it fruity. Um, as for rating, it's fine. Um, I'd go with an 84 on this guy. 84, that is Tropical Beer Hug. Hey, you guys post in the comments below what other packages or what other beers you find in the pipe cans? Like, what is your utility of them? Because I assume that's the utility of them. Like, they're selling this because you want one can and you want to do some damage. You want three beers in and you want to hit it. That's the goal. Until next time, guys, cheers. Uh, let me know if you've had this one. Goose Island. Um, not generally impressed. Like, you know, a lot of, some of the bought out breweries have generally impressed me. Like, uh, again, Wicked Weed crushes it with Pernicious. Um, cool. Oh, uh, I like Elysian Space Dust. Another AB buyout. Boom. Um, Goose Island. I mean, oh, Goose Island and Blue Point. Those are ones that have like sort of stayed on the, you know, under that tier for me, despite the buyout. Not like beers that are like, oh, wow, like, let's go for it, right? <laughs> New Bell, I mean, we got, it's a whole other conversation, but that's another question, guys. Post in the comments below. What are your favorite bought out breweries? Um, I just picked a couple of mine. So until next time, guys, cheers. 84 for me. Cheers, later.